Hey, my you ladies and my you gents. I'm Stephen Tosher, and this is my mom. Hey, mom, how are you feeling today? I wasn't doing that great this morning. I guess it's the cold weather. You could blame it on that, but I'm doing a lot better now. Thanks. You're welcome. It's, yeah, it's been really bad for myself as well. The past couple months, not being able to get out for a walk every day, and it's just frigid outside. The only redeeming factor is that the sun's finally coming out and finally getting a little bit more energy there. But that actually gateways perfectly into what we're talking about today, which is a breakdown of what 200 calories looks like. So without further ado, let's jump into that. Okay, so here we have 20 sticks of celery, around 10 calories each. We have four delicious red peppers, around 50 calories each. Over here we have 150 grams of turkey with around 35 grams of protein. Here we have delicious hot salsa. Now this is from a jar about this big. And this is around 200 calories, mostly the entire jar. You come over to the pita here. The pita is 200 calories. Now, it is very thin, but when you think of carbohydrates, usually they're very, very high in calories as it is. And in the future, we'll be having an episode where I'll be showing you how to make some awesome pita chips that'll go really well with the salsa. Now, Parmesan is one of those things that people may consider really bad for you. But all this Parmesan that we have here is only 200 calories. So if you're having a splurge meal, it's not that bad for you. Right, but you know, don't go crazy with it. Okay, here we have around 150 uh, milliliters of blueberry yogurt. Now this yogurt is uh, with all the sugars, all the fats, it's a normal yogurt. And again, you're gonna get a fair portion size. And if you see over here uh, on the video, you'll be able to see a yogurt and fruit uh, mixture with different types of yogurts and uh, basically how you can have a really good snack. Finally, in this little dish, we have 60 milliliters of uh, grape jelly, and this is around 200 calories as well. All right, Mom, so with this array of delicious foods, and yes, I did choose predominantly healthy foods for 200 calories, because that's usually I find what most people are at when they want to go for a snack or how much calories they have left in a day. But which one really astonished you and or impressed you the most? Oh, I think the celery is too big bunch of celery here. <laughs> that is so much. Scary I don't think eat. I can eat this in no. one week. <laughs> like I'll probably just have one or two stick of celery yeah. at the time. So I think you get pra pra you know practically not much um, calories for so will you add that onto your meals then, from day to day? Uh, like you'll just go and grab if, a if, stick? If, it's, if it does, like it's fibrous, it's good for and your it's skin. healthy, and, and it's filling, and... I think we've made a converter out of you. It's good. So you don't like the vegetables. It's, it's crazy. For myself, I am actually impressed with this section of the table here. We've already talked about yogurt, and you know, again, we're just kind of healthier. We know about the chicken, but the salsa... I actually was astounded to know that it, uh, two tablespoons is 10 calories. So when I chucked out this into the whole bowl, and I was like, I can, you know, if I'm sitting down to watch some sports or something like that, if I have the right dipping stuff, so if I find low calorie carbohydrates or chips or whatever, you, know, you can go to town and actually get full and still feel healthy. And all this is is just the ground of vegetables for the most part with hot sauce, and it's, it's good for you. And again, the Parmesan, like, We've gone to Italian restaurants and you know you sprinkle a little bit on and you've always heard that cheese is like the worst thing on the planet for you. But you know you're looking at, uh, because this is basically four or five serving sizes but uh, together, but it's two to three grams of fat. You know and again like 200 calories, this is nothing. Like if you put this much on your, your, uh, your spaghetti or whatever, you're drowning your spaghetti and cheese. So I think those two for me were the, uh, the most impressive. Uh, I hope you start making more healthy choices for your foods, your snacks. We will be jumping uh, to 300 next and then 500 in the next two videos. Uh, and I'm, I really hope you enjoy the different styles and, and foods that are out there. Because when you start learning the energy capabilities and the nutrition that you can get from that and the energy levels, 
it just it changes the way you look at food and your entire life and what you reach for when you're really tired or you know you're feeling depressed or whatever and these foods will all help your mind help the structure of your body maybe not so much the jelly but you know for the most part these are your 200 calories that are really going to get you past that snack level uh, if you have any comment or question at the moment do you have anything to add no? If you have any comment or questions or you want to drop anything in the description, you know, just take a look at everything just below the video. It'll be right there. And uh, I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching and being a part of this you know, weekly experiment and these weekly shows that me and my mom are putting on together. Have yourself a wonderful day, evening. Morning or night. God, God bless. bless. Oh yeah, and if you like what I'm doing, please... Tweet! Tumble. Like. Share. Thumbs up. Plus, pin, or do whatever you do, and please subscribe.